hi guys welcome back in this video i will be sharing some simple tips and tricks on how you can get your toddler or baby completely if not 90 percent potty trained by the time they are 18 to 24 months old disclaimer this process might not work for every child however if parents and child more so parents remain consistent and dedicated to the process and follow these simple steps that I'm about to share then it is possible and your child will be potty trained by the time they are 18 to 24 months old and you can say goodbye to diapers because we all know expensive diapers can be step one take the baby to the bathroom with you whenever possible and the reason why I say this is because we know that babies can't communicate so however they are very observant so they whatever they see they register it in their brain so if the baby sees you um, taking down peeing cleaning yourself washing your hands it's registering his in his or her brain so by the time the child gets to that point he or she would already know that okay then i saw mommy or daddy doing this so this is what i'm supposed to do trust me guys it works step two introduce the child to the pot as soon as the child starts walking or as soon as he or she is able to sit on his or her own i recommend doing this at nine months old that's when i started with my daughter and for her tip number three treat it like as a game applaud the child whenever he or she does something in the park so clap and say well done have them interact let them do it let them clap themselves and say good job mama good job papa it helps tip number four put the child on the pot after each meal or feed and the reason why i say this is because children's body will want to go to the bathroom after you have a meal so i encourage you to put the child on the pot each and the child feeds because they can't communicate they can't say mommy i want to pee or mommy i want to poop so you as a parent should take the initiative to put the child on the pot as soon as he or she takes eats a meal or feed step five or tip number five put the child on the pot to pee throughout the course of the day until that child can speak or communicate with you verbally throughout the course of the day just take the child and put on the pot between 5 to 15 minutes if they don't do anything just pick them up and try again maybe two hours after tip number six practice or encourage the child to pee before going to bed that way by the time they get to that point and maybe three four they already know that okay I have to pee before I go to bed that way I do not end up wetting the bed because accidents do happen so in order to prevent that from happening just encourage them to pee before they go to bed seven wake up the child every three to four hours to pee as as the child gets older and the reason why I say as the child gets older is because nobody wants to wake up their so seven months old every two four hours to pee and then they probably don't want to be up all night so I encourage you to do this just pick the child up put the child on the pot every three to four hours and just let them pee if it, if it means you standing there holding the child just hold Hold them up for support while they're probably halfway asleep. Have the child pee and then put up put the child right back to bed. I know it's difficult, but what I used to do was set my alarm in that time span every three to four, four hours, and then I just get up, pick my daughter, put her on the pot. Sometimes I hold her there, and then other times I won't because by then she was used to it, and she would pee and go back to bed and she was very verbal so if she didn't have to pee she just say mommy I don't have to pee and then I know okay then I just put up at my tip eight is to take baby steps to replace the diaper with pull-ups and throughout the course of the day and even when the child is going to bed and gradually upgrade to underwear and the reason why I say this is you want to get the child in the mindset independence so they can pull down the pull up during the course of the day and pee on the pot and if not and they end up having an accident in the pull ups then you won't have to worry about cleaning up 
the place afterwards because they're still in a learning process so i encourage you to just replace the, the pampers with pull-ups so that they have a sense of independence i have two bonus tips now bring the part with you if you have a if you have access to your own personal vehicle i came up with this idea because my daughter whenever we went on long road trips she would not she did not want to pee on the floor <laughs> sorry the ground she did not want to pee on the ground she did not want to pee in the in her pull-ups pampers so she would hold her pee and and it, i felt bad because i didn't want her to get a bladder infection at such a young age from holding her pee and i didn't want to contradict what i was saying that her to pee in the in the diaper when Clearly, I was teaching her not to. And the fact that she understood at such a young age, I said, I decided not to say anything to her, not to tell her, but she decided to hold the pee. So I decided to just bring the part with me whenever I was going on road trips, and then she would pee in that. She'd just pee, I don't put the face in the car or on the seat, or stop, pull over, put it on the front. Grown as she peed, she peed in it. I poured it out, and we were on our way, and that worked. Also, you could buy a party seat. I'm not sure if that's the right name for it, but the little seat that you put on the toilet, buy one of that, and just it's small enough where you can carry it in a backpack. So, if you're going to movies or a picnic or just everyday outing, I used to bring mine to church. And I'll just put it because who wants your one-year-old or your toddler to use the public toilet? I just bring, brought that with me, put it on the toilet seat, and she would pee on the public toilet if we were out and about in public. So that's my tip. That's my bonus tip. My two bonus tips. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you try these tips and they work for you, please leave a comment down below and let me know how it turned out for you share this video with your friends and family or acquaintance a co-worker and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and remember to share also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a video i will be uploading videos twice a week every wednesday and a bonus day i'm not sure when but every wednesday and a bonus day once again guys thanks for watching if you're new to the channel welcome and if you're returning thank you i love you guys and i appreciate each and every one of you